Okay, so in order to actually turn it to a uh, zigzag stitch, we have to do a couple of different things to the machine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look up here where it's the very, very bottom of the chart on the green side. And you can see it says for the stitch on the very far right, it says one and two. So two is our zigzag that we're working on. So we want to take it for the different measurements. So we have our, our presser foot the way we want, but you can see there's like this little zigzag column and it has all these different numbers. So the number for us, it says zero or three. We're wanting to do the zigzag, which is the second one. So we're gonna take this zigzaggy thing that we're switching all the way to a three. And that's gonna do the width of your stitch. Okay, so starting at the three, and then we're going to make sure that we are back to the 2.5. So our stitch length should be about 2.5 again, back to there. And then we're going to get started on our zigzag stitch. I'm not going to ask you to back stitch for this one. So go ahead, you want to do it about a centimeter away from the previous stitch you did. Lower down your needle, lower down your presser foot, and you're going to start, but don't go the whole way with a zigzag because you want to stop and you want to add more width to that stitch. So starting, we're going to go a little bit, and you can see that the needle is going from side to side now. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go ahead and add some width. So I was at a 3, now I'm going to go to a 4. And I should see that my zigzag is actually getting bigger. I'll go a little longer, and I'm going to go to a 5. And that is as wide as I can do on this Bernina machine. Okay, so I want to finish this off. I'm going to um, raise my needle all the way up to the top position. I'm going to lift my presser foot. I'm going to pull the thread just a little bit so that I can cut it without losing my thread for the next time. And now I have done a zigzag stitch. You can see that it's a little more narrow here. And as it gets wider to the four and then to the five, it gets wider as I go. All right, there's my zigzag.